Hey guys, welcome to our very, very first episode of Night Watches, and tonight we bring you something very special. Tell the viewers where we are tonight, Pete. Well, Dan, tonight we're here at a goodness cemetery. Um, there's a lot of history with this place, with it being haunted. People have come out of here feeling very uneasy, being scratched or bruised. Where we are now, as you can see the little graves behind us, um, this here, between 1945 and 1950, 200 bodies were exhumed from Brisbane Mental Hospital and transferred here to Goodman Cemetery. Apparently there's a lot of eerie things that happen here, so we're doing a little bit of a how you going just to let you know where we're at in the daylight. We're going to do a little bit of an investigation tonight when it gets darker and we'll see what really happens in this place. It's quite an eerie, eerie feeling mm. here. So yeah, We're also going to be doing a couple of EVP sessions and uh, their electronic voice phenomenon, uh, just a digital recording and we're going to see if we can uh, pick anything up uh, we might we might not so we'll see how we go we've also uh, got two guests with us tonight we have my sister Trish and my niece Jade you'll probably see them floating around later on but yeah, yeah you, those are the other two people here with us and we'll tonight. bring them in and uh, introduce you to them shortly but yeah. um, anyway sit back enjoy the episode and uh, thanks once again for tuning in and uh, we hope you enjoy our very first episode of Night Watches. Hey guys, welcome to the cemetery again. Um, this is my sister Trish and Jade, and they're gonna be here enjoying this experience with us tonight. This is up the back, guys. It's um, pretty old uh, t uh, gravestones, as you can see. Some of these bodies were ba uh, buried in 1875 and onwards. The earliest recorded one, I think, was uh, 1864. Just the age of these, you can see some of the um, like tombstones have crumbled and gone to oblivion. A eight five one. I don't know, man. It'd be pretty pretty sad to be uh, just a number and not have your name there. Now this is the angel statue that I was talking about before with the missing head. Tell me if you see its head reappear, but apparently you sometimes see the head reappear. As we're heading back into the cemetery to do this EVP session and suss it all out, see how we go. Where's Dan? Is he coming? Now, where we're going is right down the very back where the um, asylum of patients were buried. There's no lights anywhere. Those flashing lights you see here are people that have. Um, decided to put um, decorations on their loved ones' graves. Alright guys, we're coming up onto that angel. Just let me know in the comments if you see the head on the statue. Alright, this is the angel. Tell me, let us know in the comments if you see anything that we might not hear or see. But yeah, this is the statue, the angel statue that's missing the head, and they say that sometimes it appears if you visit the grave, which is what we're doing. Just turn off your light on your camera. It's definitely I got. I feel odd. So we're recording. <clears throat> so is there uh, is there anybody here with us right now? Is there something that's not natural entity wise in this graveyard? Do you want to cause harm? Where? Sits in voice. No, no, that's just the name of the oh, okay. How many uh, spirits are there here with us right now?
If you are here, what is your name? Just film the actual head area. And um, apparently the story is, what's the story, Pete? That yeah, the story is that um, the head was, it was like someone come in and damaged it. But um, apparently if you come and visit the grave, that the head reappears. So just let us know in the comments if you see a head. Because sometimes it picks up on footage that we don't see. Well, in one account. focus has gone in and out. It's creepy. Is it? Yeah. No, but they, they apparently they um like mess with electronics and stuff. Like if your power dies really quickly, yeah. that can be a sign and like stuff like that. Yeah. yeah it is a very eerie feeling here. It's um very really unsettling actually to tell you the truth. Some of these gravestones are pretty old. As you can see it's pitch black out here. Like you can't see anything. So yeah, as you can see, Dan and everyone's walking down with us and we're now going down into the pitch black to um, these hospital graves. As you can probably hear, we're close to um, houses, so you're probably going to hear people in the background and see car lights and stuff down here because the um, actual gravestones are very close to the road, right down at the very back of the bush. Hey guys, now we've walked down to where all those little graves were from the uh, Brisbane Mental Hospital where all those 200 bodies were bur buried. So now we're going to do another EVP session and see what we pick up here. Um, it's quite dark down here, there's no lighting whatsoever. No natural lighting. No, it? it's pitch black dark. So We are next to a, a suburban street uh, and yeah, I feel kind of weird that these, I actually feel bad for these uh, these lost souls whatever yeah, yeah. because uh, they've been pushed right back out of the way of the cemetery like they're in their own tucked yeah, away we're corner right and... right down the very back of the cemetery yeah. and it's like there's no no lighting no yeah. where through the rest of the cemetery there's like you see the gray uh the tombs of people with lights on them and it's mm. really like they've celebrated their loss um by decorating the graves yeah and stuff like yeah. down here it's just come down here it's pitch yeah. black and it's like Hidden. It's like not only were they from the mental hospital, it's like they've just gone, yeah, so that, you know, yeah, see you later. See you later, yeah. tucked them in the corner, yeah. forgot about them. So, okay, so we're going to start this EVP session right now and see how we go. So, is there anyone down here as in a bad spirit? that wants to cause harm. Are there any spirits down here at all that are with us? You got anything, Jade? Um, do you feel as though you were mistreated in your life? Can you please tell us your name? And if you were badly treated. Do you feel lost? Or do you feel like you are in your final resting place? Do you feel as though you're at peace? Bad. It's bad that you <clears throat> just a number and not a, a name. name. You just like 200 bodies. Like, yeah. and you think, oh. like not even not even 200 people or like victims, like just mm. bodies. Yeah. What I'll do right now is I'll do a uh, a sweep, and we'll see how we go with this. So the, the app that I'm using at the moment is called Massbox and it was a free app download so we'll see how we go with it anyway. That could be interesting. Yeah, so, <laughs> so what we've got to do now is we've got to listen carefully. What it does is it sweeps frequencies, um, radio frequencies and it plays them in reverse. So there will be noises that you'll hear. They won't always be something that is yeah. phenomenal, uh, what do you call it, um, paranormal. Yeah. 
So, like I said before we start this, if you guys hear anything that we don't hear, put it down in the comments to let us know so we can go back over the footage and have a look. Yeah, we want to know. Yeah. Here we go. Is there anybody here with us? If someone's here, tell us your name. I heard Kevin. I heard Kevin. I heard Kevin. I heard Kevin. If you're here with us, you do something so we know you're over here with us. If you're there, Kevin, just um, give us a yes. Ooh. Ooh. That, was that was like, a yes. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was, that was like, a yes. How many spirits are here with us? I had six. I had six. As soon as you asked, I heard six. Mm. So as you can see, while Pete and I are standing there doing a sweep, there is a anomaly or a orb looking thing um, floating around Pete's face. As you can see that if it was a light reflection, it would have um, a, a shape to it as it goes around Pete's face and touches his skin. But as you can see, when it goes beyond his body into the dark area, it doesn't disappear. And if it was a light reflection, um, it would disappear beyond his touching his skin uh, when it went into the black area. But it stays right there between the camera and his body. Uh, there is a slight glow to it. It's got a slight green glow to it. But if it was a bug, a bug would have distinct flight patterns and you'd see its wings. Um, they just have a different look to them. This is definitely not a bug and I reckon it's definitely not a light reflection. Because like I said, if it was a light reflection, it would be, um, dis it'll disappear when it, it went into the black area because there was nothing for it to reflect off. And a light reflection would uh, have a different shape as it went over his face. And the girls were there and they didn't see anything uh, and if it was a bug he would have uh, shooed it away so we don't know what it is but if this is an orb it would have to be the clearest orb that I've ever seen in my life um, we didn't see it at the time and look as you can see Pete's looking right at it as in he's looking right beyond where it is and it's not he doesn't see it he does not know it's there um, none of us see it and as you see it, uh, it starts to develop its own light source around the outside of it. Um, so I don't know what this is. If you guys think you know, uh, put it in the comments and let us know. But um, okay. if this is an orb, it's the best orb I've ever seen and the most clearest. Um, Yeah, see, it starts to develop a light source around the around it. Uh, it looks a bit like a bubble. Um, it's got a green light in it. If you guys think you know what it might be, then um, let us know in the comments. We'll put it side by side, and you'll see here that it is shown on both cameras. So if it was a camera issue, it wouldn't show up on both. I can't explain it, you don't know what it is. <laughs> 